What's up YouTube? Mr. Brick Ride coming at you for the latest episode of Behind the Brick and the final episode of Behind the Brick from this Lego room. <gasps> no, calm down. Let me start out by saying I am not going back into my dark ages. It's just the final episode from this space. Mrs. Brickrod and I are moving to North Carolina in a week. From today, we'll be in North Carolina. And as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of work to do. So I want to talk to you guys about a few things. Because moving means a lot of things. A lot. Mainly, I have to pack up. It's exciting because there's going to be a lot more opportunities for us. This is something Mrs. Brickrod and I have been wrestling through for about six months. Finally pulled the trigger and we're moving to Concord. We're very excited about it, which is right outside of Charlotte. So what does that mean for this page and my Instagram page? Well, the unfortunately, calm down before you guys just hear this out. It's all, I promise you, I'm excited. This is, it's all going to be good news. It's just going to take a little while to get there. The dragster competition that's going on right now is going to be the last one for a couple months because with moving, I don't have time to balance out moving, me being in one state, my wife being in another state and hosting the way I want to. You guys have blown me away by your submissions for the last couple I've done. I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you that have entered these. But on my end, it's been really hard trying to pack a house and get it ready for a move and prepare for it. I want I built my Instagram page over the last year to do stuff like these competitions. It's what I've looked forward to from day one. I'm like, I want to host competitions. But I want to do them with excellence. And I had a way I was doing it, and my schedule got changed at work. And I just had a really hard time adjusting my to my new schedule and hosting these competitions. So, to make sure I do them better for you guys, I'm going to take a break for a little while. The next competition, we're going to finish, so don't worry if you guys are still wanting to enter the dragster competition. It's still going on. I'm going to finish it. Only got a couple weeks left. You guys have had some amazing entries, like I said. But I want to take a break because it's on me. This is on me. I have not been, like I said, I've not done a good job as a host. And I apologize to you guys. Haven't been as active on my Instagram account lately because of the move. I've really been reevaluating stuff on my Instagram account and on this. I know where I want to be. I know what I want to do, and it's just it's just not there right now. So unfortunately, the this will be the last competition for a while. But I'm preparing for some better things for the competition. I'm probably only going to do them every other month because as I've been I've been wrestling with this for the couple, last couple months, looking at my page where it was last year, where it is this year. And I feel like the content I've delivered to you guys has not been good. Just because of life circumstances, not that anything anybody did or I did, it's just where I'm at in life right now. So you need to take a break from the competitions so I can make sure I am fully committed to them. Because you guys do such an amazing job at all of it. And I want to make sure the content on my Instagram page is where I want it to be. I want to have better builds for you guys. Better stories like I did last year. Don't worry. The one thing is Shark Week is still on. I think it's actually this next month, so I'm excited about that. But with the moving and the transition, it's just it's a lot to balance. Like I said, I know I, I want to do I want to do a better job for you guys. But with moving, I'm excited. I'm gonna be the, by the Concord Mills Lego store, literally like five minutes away from, or ten minutes away from. So I'm super excited about that. So I'll be able to meet some of you guys that live down in that area. Now I want to talk to you guys about the Project Vintage Refresh. Some of you guys saw me teasing. For the last couple months then I stopped because the original plan was for me to be at Brickfest Live in Charlotte next weekend or first weekend of June and my wife and I were talking I had talked to some people that said hey we can if you want to show at Brickfest Live in Charlotte if you're gonna be down here we can get you in touch with people to host it you can do it and I was on board and I was going to so Told my wife, we talked about it. She's like, you should definitely do it. I'm like, well, if I'm going to do it, I want to rebuild my garage because I can't stand it. The Lego set that I have as a garage is so much better for taking pictures of the new one. When I built it, it just wasn't where it needed to be. Just like a lot of things I've done this year with Lego, but it's okay. So I saw the Lego train shed. 
that many of you have seen that has been going around Instagram and YouTube like crazy lately. It's an old set, but everybody seems to be getting it. I'm going, that's what Project Vintage refreshes. It is, I'm turning that into one of my garage, into my new garage. I want it to be modular friendly because I realized quite quickly they wouldn't do a 48 by 48 base plate. It's just too big. So I'm doing two 32 by 32 base plates. So when I build a city, it'll be more modular friendly. But right now, because of the move and us not being able to be down there, my wife and I agreed, we're just gonna put it on hold for a little while. It is coming. By this fall, I should be able to get Project Vintage Refresh up and going, and I'll show you what I've got done so far. So you guys know that I did work on some stuff. See right here is Project Vintage Refresh. It's gonna be four bays as I fall over. Hope you all can see that, doing something kind of crazy here. The lighting is horrible down here, that, but it's gonna have, you know, it's gonna be like whoop, whoop, lots of stuff going on down here. So see, not giving up on Lego at all. Not even close to giving up on it. In fact, I'm super excited that once I get down there, be able to start Temp City, my Lego city. And why is it Temp City? Because it's a temporary city. We're gonna be running our house. So we just had so much going on that I just gotta focus in on the stuff for this move and get down there and new jobs, everything for me and my wife. I'm excited. So now you guys that are on here know what Project Vintage Refresh is. It is a modular friendly world city train shed my version of that as a garage that's going to be able to go into the city somewhere next to this that's what i want i'm so excited to get down to north carolina so i can start building this and building my city so lots of exciting stuff going on it just means for now for the month of june i'm not going to be hosting a competition until probably august will be the next competition take a couple months off just to get readjusted to moving but once I get down there and get set up, it's gonna be great. Now, have work on the Lego City. I'm gonna be doing more episodes of Behind the Brick, doing some more reviews, like I've done in the past, like I did with the camper when I made the bigger one. We do more reviews like that, doing showing you the Lego, and then my version. What else do you guys want to see on this page? And I'm going to so let me know in the comments below what else, what kind of videos you want to see on this page. I want to do a better job for you guys of getting better content out to you. And you never know. I've talked to a couple friends. Not about the Saturday stream. Maybe I'll get back on some more Saturday streams once I get down to North Carolina and get adjusted. But there is a rumor that maybe Golden Bricks and Swoboda 4 and Online might be doing some sort of stream in the future on here. So we've never met each other. We message each other daily. Amber Customs message with us. But so far, Sobota 4 on one and Golden Bricks have agreed to eventually do some sort of live stream in the near future. Once we all can figure out a time that we can schedule it. We're not going to do it during Saturdays because Saturday is the Saturday stream. Or maybe I'll host Saturday stream and bring them on. We haven't worked out the details. So that's exciting news. So temporarily sad news that the dragster competition is it for a while. <clears throat> Probably August we'll be back with the competitions. I'm still doing Shark Week on Instagram. I'm just taking a break from some of this so I can prepare to do better. I'm going to have a different layout in the new house. So I'm excited to see how that's going to work. Because my wife has agreed to help me build Temp City. Mrs. Brickrod has agreed to help me with that. She's excited to build a beach area because we got the creator sets over here. A beach thing I got at Acme on my birthday that I still haven't built because we've been working on lots of stuff. Like I said, I am super excited about this move. But sad that I gotta take a break from this. But like I said, not going to the Dark Ages, it's quite the opposite. It's actually going to make it, make me, give me more time to do this. Spend more time with you guys, more time with my family. I'm excited about it. There's so much happening at the Brickyard House. Like I said, we are loading up the truck the day before Memorial Day and leaving Memorial Day. Then I have to be back up here leaving Tuesday. Be back up here so I can go back to work on Thursday because my dad has to be working on Wednesday. So lots of craziness. So I apologize for everybody that's entered the Dragster competition that I have not promoted it and given you guys the shout outs like I wish I could have. We're still gonna finish strong. So if you guys have not entered, please enter. There are so many awesome entries. 
but I'm excited to get down North Carolina and really be back to an area where we can really just have fun with Lego again. Build with the family, build the Lego city. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble for the last few minutes and letting you know what's going on with the Brick Rod family. So it's happy sad news. So this is the last video in this Lego room. So the next video you're going to see, hopefully, theoretically, will be in the new Lego area of the new house in North Carolina. So you guys are in the North Carolina area and the Charlotte area. Let me know. We'll meet up at the Concord Mills Lego store. I'd love to meet you guys. I told some of you guys, cause I've, that's why my wife and I have been coming back and forth to North Carolina a lot lately. Some of you asked, like, what are you doing? This is the real reason, because we were moving, preparing for that move, working on jobs, lining up stuff, housing, stuff like that. So, sorry for rambling. Just, I got a lot on my mind. I want to make sure that you guys know I'm not leaving you, but it's important for me to let you guys know why my page, why this page hasn't got the love it deserves. But I've got, like, this is my only health till Sunday, so I've got a lot to pack up. So I've got to get to packing. So until next time, I'm Brick Rod Garage. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your patience. I'll see you guys really soon.